Well, by now, many of us know someone who has been infected with COVID-19. Some have been seriously ill, while others have had no symptoms at all. But once they've recovered, are they safe from the virus, as is the case with measles? Or do the antibodies that develop disappear, leaving the recovered vulnerable again? Well, to help us answer those questions, once again, we chat to Professor Adrian Purin from the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. Adrian, good morning. Yes, and I suppose in addition to the one question that everybody gets asked, where did you get it, how did you get it, is can you get it again and there's so much information out there so help us clear that up with what we know at the moment about this virus well you know we're six months into this particular virus and i think we're still trying to learn much about the immunity um, we certainly do know some things about um, some of the families of viruses that do certainly affect us are the coronaviruses for example there are about seven coronaviruses that affect humans and four of those are what we call endemic in other words it's those viruses that contribute to having our colds, for example, each particular season. But we do know that in those particular um, viruses that, in fact, you could have multiple infections per year, you know, two or three infections per year. And in other words, that immunity, in other words, declines um, with time. So we think that it's possible that with these, this new SARS-CoV-2, that that is one possibility that, in fact, we'll have um, seasonal uh, if it becomes an endemic strain that will have a seasonal uh, type pattern in terms of immunity. We know that the other two viruses, the MERS and the SARS-CoV-1, um, have induced immunity and that immunity lasts for about three years, but in fact actually also um, wanes as well. So the picture is not clear mm. and that has obviously uh, some implications around whether or not you will be uh, reinfected. So, so what we know about other viruses, while we don't have a particular answer for this question just yet, is will there come a point then where your body will build immunity? Say you get COVID-19 two or three times, and then, then maybe you might be safe. Is that a possibility? Um, it's a possibility, but unlikely if you think if it's going to behave similarly to flu, for example, as you know, each year um, you actually do need to have um, a flu vaccine, and that is because of the uh, drift and because of the, the waning of responses. So you may have some degree of protection, but it may not be full protection, in other words, that you will then have to receive that, that vaccine again on an annual basis, if not more so, yes. Uh, all right, well, while we're talking about vaccines then, let's talk about T-cell immunity, Adrian, and what that might mean for vaccine design while they're hard at work at this at the moment. Yes, yeah, so the, again, I want to uh, preface this by saying that this is not a peer-reviewed article, but certainly there's some um, interesting observations, in fact, that um, in families where there has been uh, intrafamilial transmission of virus, a fair proportion of the within that family certainly had an antibody response, but some did not have an antibody response. And when they explored further, in fact, they did have a T-cell response. So our immunity has two specific arms to it, or specific responses to the B-cells, which produce the antibodies or serology, and the T-cells, which certainly also are able to respond and control infection. So in other words, when we're thinking about um, vaccine design, for example, that in fact we should also consider both, not just, I know there's a lot of focus on the spike protein, which may well induce the serological B cell immunity or antibody responses, but we also need to take into account that we in fact we need to look at, at T cell responses mm. as well. Well, we've been hearing about this antibody test that is out or due to come out, uh, Adrian. Could that maybe provide some answers to the questions to what we've been asking as to whether you will eventually build, immu build immunity? If you get it once, you might not get it again. Um, just well, how, how would that test work and what could it tell us? Yeah, so my, my view, as you know, is, is, is that we should not buy any rapid tests at this time because I think that won't tell us what we would need to know. I think it's only the, um, I suppose, the laboratory-based ones in, in terms of surveillance to tell us whether or not people have been exposed. Because again, we don't know what the durability is and the type of immunity. And therefore, I would think that it should really be primarily reserved uh, for surveillance to know whether people have actually been um, exposed to, to this particular virus. Okay, all right, we'll leave that chat there for now. Well, we just don't know at the moment. It's not clear whether if you've had COVID-19, you'll get it again. Could you get it a couple of times and build immunity? This thing is changing and growing day by day. All right.